Good morning, students. So today I am here to tell you something about uh, class ninth chapter one physics, and the chapter one is all about uh, fundamental quantities and uh, fundamental units, or you can say physical units. It is not about only class ninth. I hope all of you have studied the fundamental units or the physical quantities in class sixth, seventh, and eighth also. Uh, let us uh, uh, let me tell you one more thing. like fundamental quantities what fundamental quantities means if you have to measure the length of any object if you have to measure the weight of any object if you have to tell me the time what is the timing now like you write sir the length of this bench is 2 uh, meters or you say sir the weight of this potato is 2 kg okay or you say sir this is the timing 9 am समथिंग लाइक दैट ओनली यू से अगर मैं ये कहूं कि किसी बेंच की लेंथ दो किलोग्राम है तो आप सरप्राइज हो जाएंगे यू बी सरप्राइज ओके सो अगर मैं कहूं कि किसी इंसान की जो लंबाई है वो दो किलोग्राम है तो थोड़ा आपको अजीब लगेगा सो दैट इज वॉट इट इज द नीड ऑफ फंडामेंटल क्वांटिटीज एंड फंडामेंटल यूनिट्स अगर मैंने आपसे कहा यूनिट्स तो यूनिट मीन्स वॉट दे आर मीटर किलोग्राम सेकेंड एम्पियर एलविन कैंडिला मोल ओके तो Uh, when do we use fundamental units listen to measure anything in this world which has a physical state physical state means what physical quantity means what physical quantity means if any object has or anything has weight it occupies space it has length or breadth something like that is called physical quantity like any anything in this world which we can measure length breadth or height or anything or volume this is called physical quantity okay so for those physical quantities to measure them to recognize them or to tell them that what they are and which in which condition they are uh, what kind of uh, quantities they are we use some units because unit is the only thing by the help of which we can tell anyone about that quantity listen the fundamental units basically are on the basis of uh, fundamental physical quantities physical quantities we can say are length okay for that we use meter mass or weight we can say kilogram time for that we use second current for that we use ampere Kelvin we use for temperature and candela meter kilogram second ampere kelvin candela uh, and we have mole mole is for the uh, substance uh, number of molecules in the substance and candela is for the uh, luminous intensity okay so we have fundamental units meter kilogram second ampere kelvin candela mole these seven are the fundamental units and they are used for length mass time current temperature uh, luminous intensity and the uh, substance quantity or the weight or the number of elements in the substance okay you can say number of molecules so i hope you all will remember this meter kilogram second ampere kelvin candela mole okay so meter kilogram second ampere kelvin candela mole these seven are the basic fundamental units uh, except these we have radian and steradian also but before telling about radian and steradian i would like to tell you about these meter kilogram second you all know very well meter is for length kilogram is for mass and second is for time and this ampere we use for the current which we are having in our houses current flow is there uh, kelvin for the temperature uh, candela for luminous intensity what is luminous luminous intensity see you must have a tube light in your house and a bulb also in your house okay so the intensity of light is less than or bulb is less than the uh, tube light so tube light has more luminous intensity than bulb this is what luminous intensity is okay 
so number of molecules in a mole uh, for small small particles the number of molecules present in that particle is being measured by the mole and one term is we have radian and steradian okay what is radian radian we measure uh, the angle by the help of radian angles are being measured in radian and uh, steradian see if we have uh, anything like this board we have if this board and four corners of the boards these four corners of the board we measure the angle of these four corners from this point so we will have one line going to that point one to this point one to that point and one to this point so these four points we have four angles so this solid angle will be called steradian the unit of this solid angle will be this is called solid angle because from one point we have measured the four angles so this is the solid angle and for the solid angle we use steradian okay so this is all about fundamental quantities or physical quantities and the fundamental units okay but we have fundamental units are of two types listen fundamental units simply meter kilogram second ampere kelvin kendra moles are there but with the help of these fundamental units we make some more units they are called sub units like if we have to make the unit of speed speed is equal to distance upon time we all know that distance is measured in meter and time is measured in second so this is meter per second and this is called what sub unit they are fundamental units this is sub unit sub units are made up of with the help of fundamental units so only seven fundamental units we have and sub units are made with the help of the fundamental units so sub units are so many whatever formula you know like speed uh, acceleration distance displacement force anything like force we write f is equal to m into a we all know that so f is equal to m into a means m means mass and mass is measured in kilogram sorry kilogram okay and acceleration acceleration means meter per second square so meter per second square so kilogram meter per second square that is called joule so this is what this is the sub unit okay sorry newton not joule this is newton so they are called fundamental units sub units with the and the physical